This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2004 F350 Crew Cab Long Bed. It's a Lariat, which is leather. It is an FX4, but when we had it painted, uh, they took off the FX4 stickers. You can see those in the before pictures. Um, this truck has 150,336 miles. This is a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It is on a salvage title due to theft, not not collision. You'll see in the before pictures, it's very straight, except for the fact that they stole the front bumper and the grill and the lights. Probably had a really nice bumper on it. Um, that's not all they did. After they stole all that stuff, and they stole the seats, we had to replace the seats also. But after they did that, they decided they would take a pry bar and punch holes in the radiator and all the doors. Um, there was like six big holes in it. And then they drove it. So without any water in the radiator, it killed the motor. So uh, basically, uh, it's got a brand, well, not a brand new motor, but it's got a used motor in it that we compression tested at 400 pounds in each cylinder. We compression tested it multiple times. Um, it also uh, was a bulletproof motor, previously bulletproof. Um, and it was a low mile. According to the people that we bought it from, it had under 100,000 miles on it. And with that compression and the condition it was in, we believe it. Um, it did have a pull. It does have a bulletproof EGR cooler. It does have a sinister uh, uh, aftermarket uh, coolant filter on it. I'm going to walk around and show you what we've done. And the odd part is when you look at the before pictures, you're not going to you're not going to be able to see the holes they punched in it. So I'll kind of tell you where to look and you might be able to see them in those pictures you might not we don't take those pictures it's got a uh, Mako paint job which is a one stage uh, paint uh, we paid twelve hundred dollars for this paint job it's uh, okay it's blue it's a pretty good looking truck but when they paint they don't exactly do it like you would do a factory paint job so if you're looking for a perfect paint job this is not it if you're looking for a nice blue truck this is it okay um, it's not factory paint is what I'm saying so uh, my brother's gonna take this and he's gonna do uh, probably 50 to 70 HD pictures in that gallery you can you know click on this little magnifying glass and drag it around and stare at it really up close it's uh, pretty cool um, it's a great running truck I do know that when we did the seats we actually had a pair of 2008 Lariat seats. So it's got 2008 Lariat front seats and a uh, 06 leather rear seat to match. It's pretty cool actually, it looks neat. Um, so what do we know here? What do we have here? I'm gonna go through my little notes here. Previously bulletproof motor, used motor, compression excellent at 400, sinister coolant filter, we put a new radiator, a new aluminum, all aluminum radiator in it. Uh, Rotella oil and filter, serpentine belts new, starters new, eight glow plugs and harnesses new, batteries, water pump, front bumper, headlights, valance, grill. Passenger fender had a big hole in it, so uh, instead of doing body work on that, we just put another one on. And a power steering pump is new. Um, also, there's no catalytic converter. If you need it before it ships out, uh, tell us and add 375 to the price of the vehicle and we'll put it on if you're an Arizona buyer that's mandatory um, that you get a cat so we will add 375 to the deal and in order to get plates and insurance uh, we have to take it to uh, motor vehicles and they require us to get a level 3 inspection they require it to have a cat okay so if you're an Arizona buyer you will be adding 375 so for the for the cat okay um, if you're an out-of-state buyer and want one, uh, just tell us and we'll add that to the price and we'll get it done. Um, every state's different and some of our vehicles ship out of the country so people don't want them. Uh, and most people who get them take them off about 10 minutes after they get them. You know, it's just to get them through the, your emissions, right? Um, that's, that's the fact of the matter. Um, also, my guys tell me that the rear power sliding window doesn't work. Very common. About half of them, when they have any miles at all, don't work. And that's a huge pain in the ass. We used to offer to fix them, but those back, you have to take out the back seat, the back panel. Um, it's about $375 for the parts, which is no big deal, but it's about five hours of back-breaking labor, and it's totally not worth it so you can open up a back window. Okay? Um, anyway, uh, let's see. What else? I'm going to fire this guy up. One hundred 
250,379 miles. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this here. Kelly Blue Book on the truck. Got this glare here. With 150,000 miles is 14,349 miles. Now, of course, they Kelly them not knowing that you have a bulletproof motor here. I would, I would venture to guess if you were to say add bulletproof as an option, it would add four or five grand to that number. That's worth that. Um, there's the VIN. It's a salvage title, and that's because of theft. This is the date of the Carfax. The Carfax will be a link will be in the ad, so you'll be able to see it. But I like to show people and walk people through it. Some people have never seen one before, and this one's just a very average. It's uh, obviously it was a very well taken care of truck until someone who was really pissed off or strange decided to steal the front bumper and then poke holes in it. And that's what happened. There you go. There's a lot of. Well, you can see this all in our in our uh, ad for this truck. Stolen on 9-2, recovered on 9-3 and there you go so there you go anyway here's the here's the title that we got for it from new mexico okay geico and there's our current title this will be in the ad also you'll be able to click on this that's what we have so now you've seen all the paperwork that we have for the truck everything we know about it the point of these videos isn't to sell the truck it's to make sure that the right person buys the truck that's why we're brutally honest Okay, there's no sense in keeping any secrets here. All right, there's the Ford stamp. So this is an original Fender, new battery. There's your sinister uh, coolant filter, new battery on this side. This is a aftermarket Fender. See, there's no Ford stamp, aftermarket. Okay. Take off the. Uh, Zero blow by. Excellent. That is very rare. Whoever had this truck, you saw the services on it. Whoever, whoever had this truck before they blew up the motor, when they stole it, did a hell of a job with this truck. Um, it's too bad we couldn't have saved that motor because that motor was perfect also. But we replaced it with a motor with probably the highest compression we've seen here in a long time. We were extremely happy with the numbers on this motor and so happy that we had to repeat it several times because usually you don't see 400 or above on any 6.0s that are 04s any 6.0s period usually you'll see in the 380s or 390s you know on a good motor this one was 400 on every cylinder consistently too uh, very little variation at all at all i mean it was very good so I'd imagine whoever's truck was crashed to donate this motor, the salvage yard that we bought it from, probably had a hell of a nice truck. <laughs> His truck was nice, this truck was nice, and both trucks had a problem. And now this one's pretty much back. The seat works great. Like I said, these are 08 seats. Boom, the seat works great. It used to have a plug in here. It doesn't have a radio anymore. There's an old faceplate holder for it. We leave the radios out. We never put radios in when, they, when they've been stolen because they're so cheap to put in and you can get your own. Get what you want with, you know, MP3 and Bluetooth and all that stuff. We got uh, jets flying over right now, which is nice. It's helpful. they have all the connectors here guys you could knock it out for 150 bucks you could probably put in whatever you want 
But uh, yeah, we stopped doing that. We stopped putting it in radios when we found out that people were just taking them right out. Sort of like catalytic converters. There's no point when people are gonna take them right out. All right, there's your tow haul. This button right here, I'm getting on and off. There you go, okay. Let me get a seatbelt on. Air is blowing nice and cold. Let's see. Overhead clusters on these trucks. I can see it kind of lit up over here. They sell these little digital things for about $29 on eBay. Uh, you buy like four of them and you get through about two years. Uh, once they go out, don't bother with them. They don't read correctly anyway. The numbers are always wrong. And these stupid digital things blow up so regularly that they sell by the package on, on eBay. So anyway, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go neutral. I'm gonna go four low. There's four low right there, right? Drive. And reverse. That's reverse. Then we go neutral. I'm gonna go four high. Now we're in four high. Drive. And reverse. That's in four high. And then I'm gonna go to two wheel drive. And we're gonna go for ride. This is on a salvage title. You can't get plates or insurance on a salvage title. So if you're gonna come here to drive it home, we have to take it to the police and get a level three inspection. We charge $200 to do that. Uh, then we can get a restored salvage title. Then you can get uh, plates and you can get insurance. So obviously that's mandatory if you're gonna drive home. Um, so it's $200 to restore the title, $250 dock fee, and then there's taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson plus your state. So if you're coming to drive it home, you'll pay your state tax rate plus our city of 2% plus $250 dock fee and then $200 to restore the title. Now, if we have to restore the title, you also have to get a cat. So that's $375, okay? It sounds like a lot, but everyone does and everyone understands. It's not a big deal, okay? I will say the tires on this thing are pretty crappy, all right? Uh, another thing that, you know, we used to do and sometimes we still do, but... Uh, you can go with a lot of different tire sizes on this one. So what I would recommend is if you want to drive it home, contact our local discount tire that's at, uh, uh, what is it at? It's at Prince Road and Oracle, discounttire.com. Call them, buy some tires before you come. Uh, tell them you're with Wheel Kinetics and ask them for your uh, tax free so that they'll do that with our tax number. Pay them and then uh, you will have, um, tires on the truck um, that you can drive home with, which are safe. These are not very good. I wouldn't drive them. I'd drive them around town, but I wouldn't drive them on I-10. Um, and they might give you 5 or 10% discount on what you see the price online. Um, deposits $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it is for sale. So please make sure you get your deposit in. Warranty speech. It's a 150,000 mile, 13 year old truck. It's out of warranty by Ford standards uh, by a long way. They could have given it a longer warranty. They would have. They didn't because they didn't know what would happen. And I have to tell you, if something breaks and something needs to be done while you're the owner of it, uh, you're going to do that yourself. We're not writing any checks. If it happens the day you get it, something happens to it, you're fixing it. There's some risk. We give you tons of information. You're gonna have to, uh, you know, we we're, we're trying to find adults here. We're not trying to find babies who want brand new trucks. Okay, this is not a brand new truck. All right. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time. And jump on real quick here. This guy won't get out of the way. Anyway, thank you for your time.